One of the simplest but most important techniques we need to learn for working in Microsoft Word is the setup of line and paragraph spacing. The actual controls are easy to use, we just have to make sure we know which one adjusts which. We'll start here with a sample document containing some nonsense Latin text. Aside from anything else, it's all packed together rather closely vertically, which could make it harder to read, depending on the font, the size, and so on. We'll select at least a couple of paragraphs here, uh, so we can see how this will affect a significant portion of the text, and then we'll go up to the Home tab in the ribbon, and then over here to the Paragraph group. And there, we'll click the little marker here, the dialog box launcher, the square marker, and I want to make sure we move the box over just a little so we can see what we're trying to do here. The part of the dialog box we're interested in is about halfway down the indents and spacing tab. It's the part here called the spacing controls. This is where we want to read the fine print, so to speak. The before and after controls are for space above and below each paragraph. We can use the spinners to set the distance we want. If we set it to auto, the spacing defaults to approximately 14 points above or below each paragraph. Uh, well, a point is 1 72nd of an inch, so 14 points would be a hair more than a sixth of an inch. This might be a little more than we'd like, so we can use the spinner arrows to set the distance in increments of six points, and it starts with zero once we get away from the auto. When we OK out, we can see what the spacing does. Remember, we added space above and below each paragraph, and that is what we get. The other item there, let me go back to the dialog box, the line spacing over here on the right is for the lines within the paragraph. If we want single, one and a half, or double, we simply select it from the list. But if we want an exact number of points for the spacing, we can click exactly down here, and then we can spin the uh, number in over on the right in the space here, the at. One rule of thumb which is pretty easy to remember is that the line spacing should never be less than the size of the text in points, otherwise the parts sticking up or hanging down, the ascenders and descenders as they're called, from each line of text could collide with the others and make the text much harder to read. So if we glance up here, we see that our text is 14 point size, Therefore, we should have the spacing here be at least that much. So I'll spin it up to 14. And again, when we OK out of the box, we can see how the text is affected. As we now can tell, it is a little different. It's a little more tightly packed vertically, and there's the spacing above and below each paragraph. A key point to remember here, aside from the fact that the goal is improving the readability of the text, is that increasing either of these measurements the before and after, or the line spacing, will usually involve printing more pages. We also want to bear in mind that it's a good practice to keep most or all of the text in a document visually consistent. We can see the difference here if we look carefully, but keeping it consistent allows the reader's eye to move easily from paragraph to paragraph, and knowing how to make these changes can easily improve the consistency.